What's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're going to talk about Mimo 600, this uh, Lil Dirt and Buka 600. Uh, pretty much uh, McAdoo funeral was today. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, McAdoo, he wasn't a rapper, but he was a real, real big figure in the drill culture, especially like the whole 600 movement when I when I first started picking up on them. But he wasn't a rapper, though, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people that you, you listen to and that you respect from Chicago, they respect this man, whether it's Dirt, Herb, Bibby, any of those dudes, they, they respect McAdoo. But uh, Mimo 600 says some real shit, and this is what I'll be trying to get y'all kids to realize is that y'all get y'all life up, for y'all homies, for y'all block, for y'all hood, for all of that, bro. And they don't even got the time to come to y'all funeral and give your moms a hug. You get what I'm saying? But when you in the streets, you gang, 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 gang. You ready to dabble over you. You ready to dabble with your homie. You ready to do this. You ready to do that. And when it come down to it, bro, they won't even come to your funeral, bro, and give your moms a hug. You get what I'm saying? So I respect me more for at least going to McAdoo funeral and shit like that. Despite of what everybody try to like make it seem like Nemo or Goofy, that's a real nigga right there. You know what I'm saying? But Dirt, he'll put money on niggas' books. He'll buy a nigga a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, he'll give you a hundred ball when you get out. He'll give you a nice fat ass signing bonus, bro. But when you die, bro, you think he gonna come to your funeral, bro, and, and give your moms a hug and tell her that he there for you or tell your kids, I got y'all no matter what. Y'all dudes need to really start watching and paying attention to certain shit, bro. It's not all about clout and money, bro. Sometimes it's about do you gen genuinely care about me, bro? Is you really going to be there for me, bro? Is we really loyal to each other? You get what I'm saying? If not, bro, you might as well beat it, bro. I don't give a fuck how famous you is, bro. It's like give a prime example. If me and Drake homies, you know, he can give me as much money in the world, as much fame, as much clown. I could ride on this jet. I could do all of that. But if I pass away and Drake don't come to my funeral and tell my tell my moms, oh, yeah, mom, I'm there for you. Or tell my kids I'm still there for you. And I'm here, you know, uncle there. Nigga wasn't no real nigga, bro. He can keep all that materialistic shit. You keep that shit, bro. Because this lets you know who really going to fuck with you, bro. Anybody can give you some money, bro, when they're a millionaire. They give you a couple thousand dollars to really leave them the fuck alone. You get what I'm saying? You kids need to really wake up, bro. Really wake up. Y'all niggas want to be giving y'all life away for these streets, for the for y'all homies. You know what I'm saying? And really pay attention, bro, to who really going to be there for you in the end, bro. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. But I respect Nemo 600 for going to McAdoo Funeral, bro. And a lot of rap niggas did not go to McAdoo Funeral. A lot of niggas that, that call themselves real niggas wasn't real in that moment, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boys, D's Media signing out. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Do y'all think Mimo was right or wrong for calling those niggas out who didn't show or what? Y'all let me know. It's your boy, D's Media signing out.